hey, welcome back and in today's video. We're going to be taking a look at God has entered my body as a body. My same size. I was asked to look into this. It's a very creepy conspiratorial mystery that I feel like we need to check out on today's episode of Exploring the Internet. So if you never heard of this, the channel is uh, called God Has Entered My Body as a Body My Same Size. And basically the videos start off and mostly consist of God entered into my body like a body my same size, like me floating into you or you floating into me. It's the Holy Ghost baptism. I'm the only person alive on planet Earth that has the baptism of the Holy Ghost. To understand this story, we're going to have to go back to 2012 where creepy... Uh, messages started popping up at random on people's phones. The number was from a 317 area code which come from Indiana Indianapolis and some of the things that people were saying is I got a text from this number about a week ago totally freaked me out as it mixes religious sexual and violent imagery WTH God enters a man like a body perfect size like me floating into you which is Holy Spirit baptism and rips face diseases gums 19 November 2012, 10.41 p.m. I got a sick, twisted religious message from this nut. It said, The Spirit of God entered a indie man, like a body perfect size. It net, but Jesus who said, Love mercy rips his face. Gives gum D, took wife God's coming down, Indianapolis number. Sounds like a serial killer to me, who has tortured people and sends texts after he does things. Text back to see who it was no response around the same time it started gravitating around social media it always came from a different account a lot of people theorized that it was bot accounts that were just populating but why even creepier was when i put it in google search it came up in multiple different languages from different pieces of information made by different people a lot of people were searching on the internet and then somebody found this a very strange and creepy van with the same text written all over it. A lot of people were speculating many different things. Some people thought that it was a conspiracy. Some people thought that it was just a crazed, deranged person. We wouldn't find out until several years later. Around December of 2016, somebody posted a YouTube link leading back to Jesus appeared in a dream and he had a knife and he went inside my mouth and he started chopping, cutting, slicing. He wants people deceived. He wants people to not know that the Holy Ghost baptism feels like a body your perfect size coming into you. The name of this individual would later be discovered as Bob Hickman. He has a Twitter account that has the same words written in multiple languages. The most bizarre thing about all of this is that the dedication that this man put forth to spread this message was insane. He even wrote books. Here's the Kindle edition. Uh, God entered into my body as a body the same size. Words only, Holy Ghost filled man. Uh, let's read a little bit of it here. The fullness of the Godhead dwelleth body inside the body of Bob Hickman. If here, landscape looks like hell, littered box, stores construction, drums. It's very, uh, not sure what to say, but let's go down and look at the reviews of people that actually read it. I was barely able to make even remote sense of this terrible even for the crazy shock value. Completely pointless. I actually found a Wikipedia that says the only man in the world with the Holy Ghost baptism is Bob Hickman. The Spirit of God entered into my body like a body, my perfect size. When I was 32, after many years of on and off again, Holy Ghost baptism seeking. And I, I became really curious and wanted to know just what was holy baptism when the day of the pentecost arrived they were all together in one place and suddenly there came from heaven a sound a mighty rushing wind and it filled the entire house where they were sitting and divided tongues as a fire approached them and rested in each one of them and they were all filled with the holy spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the spirit gave them an utterance now this is very curious because apparently baptism in the Holy Spirit has a lot to do with an indwelling spirit uh, that fills you and you are able to speak in multiple tongues, different languages. And it's the most curious part about this is that he is saying all of this in multiple languages. Then again in the wiki, in talk, 
it's put and pronounced in multiple languages probably even creepier the baptism of the holy spirit is not primarily about speaking in tongues but about the beginning of a new creation the advancement of a new temple the giving of new law and the commissioning of a new group of prophets so if i'm to hear this right this man is saying that he is the only one that has been baptized by the holy spirit if this is true then this signifies the second coming of christ and the most bizarre piece about it have you guys ever heard of the story of job where job was uh, blessed by god job is a wealthy man living in a land called uz with his family and extensive flocks he is blameless and upright always careful to avoid doing evil one day satan appears before god in heaven god boasts to satan about job's goodness but satan argues that job is only good because god has blessed him abundantly satan challenges god that if given permission to punish the man job will turn and curse god god allows satan to torment job to test his bold claim but he forbids satan to take job's life in the process now he basically destroys job's entire life kills everyone in his family and just to see if he'll still serve god in the course of a day job receives four messages each bearing separate news that his livestock servants and 10 children have all died due to marauding invaders or natural catastrophes job tears his clothes and shaves his head in mourning but he still blesses god in his prayers job afflicts with horrible skin sores his wife encourages him to curse god and to give up and die but job refuses struggling to accept his circumstances basically the gist of things is that uh, god returns job's health provides him with twice as much property and a whole new family so what i'm getting from this is that bob hickman is being tortured by god as a test and this has a lot to do with the second coming of christ which has a lot to do with the end of the world so clearly I wanted to look into this and break it down a little bit further um, because if the end of the world's coming, I need to be prepared. Then I found this one comment that says, yeah, so I work at a gas station that he comes to a lot. We call him Crazy Bob. My brother just got his message tonight. I wouldn't call him a serial killer or anything because he's actually a very nice man when I see him. Now, what he does at home, I cannot say. I have talked to him and heard stories from my co-workers who have talked to him and he's just messed up in the head don't worry about him we just let him do his thing because he hasn't done anything wrong so uh people just tend to ignore him he even has a facebook page with over 30,000 followers and uh it, he's got links that go into uh some sort of prophecy ministry but i would not click that because it clicks to porn and probably the most debunking thing about this all is the reason that God gave him the Holy Spirit. I'll tell you why God saved me, why he entered into my body. What made me different from all the rest? I had about $500,000 in a bank, and that's what God wanted. And he told me that, and he didn't get it. Anyway, uh... So God gave him the Holy Spirit because of $500,000 that he didn't get. So looking at the situation at face value, it looks like Bob just has a couple of things that he needs to work on. Um, but the things that really worry me is the fact that he's put in dedication for the past nearly 10 years. Uh, there are hundreds of articles, books, uh, posts. He's, he's been actively doing this and is still actively doing it to this day. The dedication of this is insane. People deceived. He wants people to not know that the Holy Ghost baptism feels like a body your perfect size coming into you. So if you go ahead and copy the text from the, his Facebook page and you enter it into a Google search, you're going to find multiple articles from multiple sources of people saying and acting and behaving in the same way as Bob Hickman. So my question is, is this just a crazy guy on the internet or is this something deeper and more biblical? Maybe the second coming, the end of the world. I'm not sure. Because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guys. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. So it's creepy in general because it looks like this guy's lost his mind, but there's uh, so much detail and so much work put, put into this over years. And he's written books about this. He's uh, made 
thousands of posts on every social media. The depth of this is insane, just coming from one person. And let alone, you see that there are other people affected who say the same thing. And it's really untelling if these people even know each other or have any connections with each other at all. So it's, uh, it's kind of scary, especially when it's got to do with the second coming of Christ and the end of the world. But I know that you're ripping, you're ripping your gag, and how do you do that? I'll get a subscribe notification, turn on, be in the comment section every single video, because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there, and the rest of the rest of the community as well. And I expect to see you there, too, because this channel loves you.